on the heels of console gamers finally coming to the realization that hey xbox may not produce the way that we hoped it would people are now turning to playstation 5 to fill the void and they are disappointed to find out that <laughs> they're not getting any more information anytime soon it appears See, as PlayStation fans appear to be disappointed by the lack of PlayStation 5 updates. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? This is your boy, MM2K, back again with an episode of The Medicine. It's been a long time coming, you know what I'm saying? But we are back. Nevertheless, do me a huge favor though. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping those doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So here's the deal. Um, we we we've talked about this and we beat this over and over again. Everywhere I've been at, I got Patreon content talking to this. Definitely check us out pntsnetwork.com on patreon just go to patreon.com rather slash pnts network become a uh, uh a dollar tier member and you'll be able to hear my content about the xbox and the unfortunate situation that it's in as far as mind share is concerned at the moment at the moment yeah, I mean, you got Xbox podcasts all over the place. Xbox ain't delivering. I don't know why I'm buying the system. You know what I'm saying? That should become a hashtag. Hashtag, why am I buying the system? Right? So then, arbitra uh, you know, arbitrarily, people are looking at the PlayStation 5, and they're like, okay, well, this is going to fill the void. I can't wait. And they're sitting there with their bib on and their knife and their spork <laughs> ready to chomp at the bit. And guess what? They ain't been getting nothing as far as information is concerned. They've got no new news in regards to what PlayStation 5 plans to deliver outside of what they were, what they've showcased several weeks ago. So here's the problem with that. I, I wanna show you this. Let me show you something. So this upcoming week, and this is uh, courtesy of Benji Sales of, of Twitter, at Benji Sales, shout out to him. He says, Sony will be using this week to highlight PSVR. Uh, new game announcements and updates are on already revealed or released games. PlayStation VR game sales kick off on Wednesday. Specifically says no PlayStation 5 news. So I guess we won't be getting any PlayStation 5 related info this week. And then Benji retweets that courtesy of the official PlayStation blog. Okay. So interesting right there. All right. Now. I know people heard the bumper. PlayStation fans seem disappointed. Yes, they do. I mean, I've I've seen people very upset that want to see better from the platform as far as its advertisement. I know a lot of people will look at that comment and say, "MM2K, you're just trying to do clickbait or whatever." But I, again, I, I don't have I don't have time to play these games with you fools. So please just go to this, go to this, this thread. You know what I'm saying? I can't take it anymore. God gamer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody just like got their hand in their head. Uh, they really push social media promotions regarding the PlayStation 5. So this comes as a surprise. I really want to know the price and the release date. A part of me is now thinking these consoles are going to be more expensive than previously thought. You know what I'm saying? And then it just goes on and on and on and on right so then i could just go off that thread alone but we got prominent people like the homie persona on twitter big playstation fan him and uh, uh jabari the homie jabari i, I believe they have a, a new podcast that is out there doing hella five successful shout out to them good brothers right there you know what i'm saying and they all part of the playstation nation but persona says since PlayStation has confirmed another week with no PlayStation 5 news, I'm done asking. Wondering, talking about when could we see it, indulging these stupid insider what if articles. I'm sick of this cat and mouse crap. I'm sick of it. 
from the homie persona okay so now that we got that bull pucky mm2k you're making this up crap out of the way for for the people that just got their blinders on again here there's two problems that have led to this and this is where we got to take out our flags and shout out to people like persona that is speaking up you know what i'm saying he's not saying you know what i'm going to speak up and i'm going to xbox hell no he knows how to separate the force from the trees apparently from that comment alone he ain't saying i'm going to xbox he's just saying look i'm taking off my playstation hat and my sneakers for a moment and i'm speaking as a gamer and that's what all people should do because we are gamers first and foremost before we go and wave our flags for any of these corporate corporations and these corporate entities we are gamers first and we always got to have that flag first and first and foremost if not you're going at least the situations like this but what i take from persona's comments is that he's tired of the waiting a lot of people are tired of the waiting and they know there's more information that can come out but they're playing this cat and mouse game with, with with xbox and they're doing it at risk of their fans two reasons why they're doing this first and for, well, no really three reasons first and foremost um jim ryan <laughs> the jim ryan machine i told y'all they are not into fanfare they are not into fanfare they cut all those efforts that PlayStation people are used to that they got from the Yoshidas and the Sean Laytons and the Jack Trims. All that is gone. Those days are over. They don't do those fan, the fanfare like that. You get minimalist. They're the minimalist when it comes to information. You get it when we give it to you. You are with PlayStation solely because of the product itself. If you don't have faith in a product, that's a you problem. If you need a pep rally every five minutes, we don't care. It's a waste of money to them. That's how they roll, period. We'll give you enough and we'll give you without what we give you and you better deal with it. That's reason number one. Reason number two is that there's no E3. There's no E3. I don't care what y'all say. E3 what it does is because the game platform entity doesn't solely own the communication that entire moment because they're not controlling that event it's controlled by E3 and they're just participating they realize that they got to stand on the same stage shoulder to shoulder versus their competition and they don't know what they're going to do so that creates a sense of urgency and often more than not a sense of urgency creates people trying to do their best because they know not what to expect i'm not gonna get caught with my pants down oh hell no that's the atmosphere that e3 created and when entities like e3 do not become a staple litmus for these game developers year after year and you don't have something viable to replace it you get this well i'm gonna wait till my competition announces their price y'all gonna have to y'all gonna buy it anyway y'all gonna buy it anyway it's the minimalist attitude that we have to deal with when we don't have an outside force that is holding their feet to the fire so for all of you that i've been telling y'all for the last several months stop with this Death to E3, who needs E3 crap? This is what happens when you don't get an E3. The showcasing of games this year was horrible. It was disgusting. And now these companies are left at their own devices and they gonna tell you what they wanna tell you. And you were co-signing it. You created this atmosphere for co-signing it, period. And reason number three that this is happening. Despite everything I just said, this community too often acts like it's simply a binary choice when it's picking something that is plausible, that is acceptable. Meaning, as long as entity A is doing better than entity B, then entity A is fine. It's just, it's just about winning and beating, or really it's not even about winning. Because I think the, the, the definition of winning has been thrown out of the window. It's all about beating. 
That's all it's about. As long as there's somebody beating everybody else, which there will always be in a competition. <laughs> when you have several entities, just because there's an entity beating everybody else, that doesn't mean that the other, that that, that, that particular entity is doing well. You can have a turtle race. You can line five turtles up and have a race. On your mark, get set, go, boom. Let the turtles out the box. Just because Turtle A beats all the other four turtles, does that make Turtle A fast? No. So just because PlayStation is beating Xbox, which I think me and my 14-year-old can can crazy glue together some figs, stick an HDMI port on it, and probably do better than Xbox, give Xbox a run for their money at this moment, that does not really mean that they're hitting the mark for you, the gamer, as far as letting you know what to expect. Now, I can answer that question, but I can only answer it for me. You got to answer it for yourself. So I'm not even going to answer for me here on this episode. You got to answer it for yourself. Is what you're getting suffice? No. And if it's not suffice, then you got to say something. If it is suffice, then you ain't got nothing to say. But for those of you that are complaining, that are upset about these developments, you got to open your mouth and you got to do it consistently. Don't just leave it at the door of they're doing better than Xbox. That is holding PlayStation to the lowest common denominator. That is like I always say, that's like comparing the, the poop sandwich to the cup of pee. Just because the, the cup of pee goes down a lot smoother than a poop sandwich, that does not make that cup of pee an acceptable beverage. I tell you all the time. And that's the paradox that we're in right now. And it's up to you, the gamer, to stop co-signing on that very, very shallow litmus, that binary litmus, well, as long as you're doing the X better than Xbox, I'm going to shut up. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Hence why you're seeing this. Okay? It's why you're seeing stuff like this and you're seeing this, these comments here. So again, gamers, step up and be gamers first and foremost. It's okay, it's all right to have fun with your PlayStation flag, your Xbox flag, me and my stadium flag, whatever, it's, it's okay to have fun. But at the end of the day, we're gamers and when something is threatening our gaming livelihood and then, or not reaching the expectations for our gaming livelihood we got to put down those flags and we got to put on our gamer helmets our gamer hats and we got to say enough is enough period and i said from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to find me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes the stadia dosage and with all that being said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace